Good morning vlog friends. I am vlogging today. I want to show you my outfit really quickly before I sit down to do my makeup. Um, but hi, welcome to the vlog. I haven't vlogged in quite a minute now since Vlogmas. Um, I honestly kept forgetting and I realized it this week and I was like, oh my god, I should vlog. And so that's what I'm doing. So um, anyway, for outfit, I'm wearing these jeans that I thrifted in my last thrift with me. Um, and they're just like this dark wash denim. I love these jeans and I love these colors together. I'm, I'm glad I have like a dark wash pair of jeans now. Um, and then this sweater is from H&M actually. I just picked it up from the clearance rack a couple of days ago in store and it was like $16 and I think it was such a find here. But anyway, let me put, detangle my hair. EPH by Taraji Ride or Die Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, if you can see that there, this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put my earrings in. Okay, now I have all of my jewelry on. Well, actually not all of it. I'm wearing this ring in replacement for my wedding ring and my engagement ring because I dropped my engagement ring next to the sink in our bathroom downstairs and I haven't gotten it out yet. We have to like undo the um, water hookup and pull the sink thing out or like the cabinet and I'm an idiot basically. So I've been loving this hand cream from Glossier. Um, my sister got me that and a lip balm thing for Christmas and both of them are really good. This is the cookie butter um, balm.com and it tastes so good. So I'm just moisturizing up my most important part of a winter morning and then I need to go do my hair and I'm gonna do my makeup also. I put my shoes on, I did my makeup and my hair. Blew my hair dry and I'm letting it do whatever. Um, I'm wearing my Majuri hoops. I'm wearing all of my, these both are Ana Luisa and then this is my Majuri chain. And then this is Amazon. This is, oh gosh, Jerry, Ana Luisa, in case you're wondering. And then I kind of like that these jeans are like this. Um, I'm wearing them with my Birkenstock Bostons with like the fuzz inside. They're so cozy for winter. Like they're honestly like wearing Uggs and if it's not like super snowy out, um, I think it's fine. And then my cute little Amazon socks, which I, I love these. I think they're so adorable. I love just like fun socks. This is it, this is what we're having. Some fruit, a coffee, um, some avocado toast with an egg, and some kimchi. That's so good. I've been making my coffees like this lately where I froth everything, and I actually have been using normal milk, like whole milk, um, and it tastes so good because I don't put like vanilla or anything in it, I just add a little bit of like cane sugar or whatever. And with the espresso, um, today I did a double shot so it's a little bit darker, and so good. But anyway, I'm going to eat this and then I have a few plans. I actually have quite a few plans today. So I thought um, I'd vlog because I had something that I wanted to do. I wanted to go to Whole Foods, which I think I bring you guys every time I go. I only go like two or three times a year because it's definitely like 40 minutes away from me. And um, so I want to do that. I've been itching to do that. Um, I have to get groceries anyway. So laundry away, shower, H&M return, office reorganize um, or like organize stuff or like buy things to organize it for order um, and look at new bedding. New bedding, go to Whole Foods, reply to emails and comments, shoot some content. I have two um, calls planned. It's 11 right now. So I have like um, one at two and then one at, I think it was like five. I have to double check. But, um, and then I also have to run to the pet store. Um, so that is my list for the day. 
What I've been doing lately is like today I woke up at like 6 and then I, I work from like 6 to 9 and then I do a little bit of errands and stuff like that and then I come back home after I do that or like I clean the house, whatever I want to do, um, work on like content, YouTube stuff or whatever and then I go back to working after that and then I kind of just like spread it out through the day. It's not ideal because it's like then it sometimes it drags on longer but you know what? It's working right now and I just come kind of rolling with the punches. Anyway, I'm going to eat before this gets really cold. Um, I'll talk to you. Why you not love me, baby? Okay, I'm in my car right now. Um, I should probably up this because it's like I'm feeling puffy right now. Okay, and then I have to run to the vet and drop off a fecal sample of Dottie's, um, which I don't think I told you guys about on here. I mentioned it in my last video, but um, Dottie is our new cat. We actually just rescued her, or, like adopted her from being a stray um, around our house, and she is doing really, really well now. She's been a stray though. Like we've known about her for about three, four weeks, maybe a little bit more, and we've been feeding her on our porch, and she's been sleeping on our porch on our like couch up there. Um, and it's been so cold and we've been trying to get her to come to us But she just was so skittish and scared she wouldn't and then finally one night she, I think it was just like way too cold and she was desperate um, We came out because we saw her eating on the porch on our camera And so we came out and she was there and she like ran away at first But she like kind of hid by our port like under our porch and then she was meowing and she like really wanted I think to be found um, and so then we had treats and she literally Followed Jared into the garage and then we set up a heater and everything to get her acclimated and then um, after that we brought her downstairs into one of our spare bedrooms now she's upstairs in my office um, just because there's more sunlight and everything and then she's gonna be like transitioned into our house with our other pets but um, as of right now she's just in there because we had to take her to the vet um, and get all of her stuff taken care of that she's needed and so she's been on medicines for um, a few days now that we've had her and anyway so I'm dropping off a fecal there and then um, and I'll show you her later but anyways right now I'm dropping off a fecal um, and then now I need to change my little drift scent for my car. Um, these are my like, what are they called? Car diffusers, not car diffusers, my car scents. Um, and I love drift, they're really, really amazing. And I love working with drift because I just love having a good smelling car. And so they send like the best scents. This one is called Ritual. It's the scent of the month and it's for January, 2022. And it's a cleansing scent made to help you start the new year right. Um, it can be part of sacred routines that support and activate us as we set out to achieve. Um, so breathe in this renewing scent and get started with a clean slate. And then if you can see it up here, it literally just like snaps in with a magnet. And then I have my little um, other one that I'm going to replace for over here. Mmm, God, that smells so good. I'll leave my link down below for Drift. I think I have a discount code as well, but I love them. I love the company. I love everything that they stand for and everything. And so I'm gonna put this on here. There we go. And now we're all set to go. I'm going to head to the vet first, and then I'm going to go to Whole Foods. Um, and then the pet store. Of course, I mean, I, not, not a vlog goes by. I don't think where I don't go to the pet store. You know, I just made a chewy order last night. Anyway, uh, where am I? I guess, and I need to do this all right now. I'm trying to back up my driveway. Um, I need to do it all right now before it starts snowing because I guess there's supposed to be a snowstorm, Jared said, and it starts at like seven. And so I have like a few hours. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Be right. Okay, that is one thing off the list. I love checking off my list. Okay, I feel so good now. I literally do though, it's so weird because it's like, I actually checked one thing off of the list that I've been meaning to do the past few days and it just, it's different. This is my 66, step out, take like 56, every time I shine. Whole Foods and I got I have three bags. I think that's pretty good. I don't know what it is about Whole Foods. I think I glamorize. I've always have. We only had one. Well, now there's one close to where I grew up. Um, but there's another one that I always used to go to and it was like a few towns over and I would just like to go walk around in it and everything that they had because their stuff was so different than like Kroger. Um, even though I could not afford it, I would get like one thing here and there and now it still like excites me just to kind of like go to a different grocery store. I don't know why, is that like a stupid adult thing? But I got a little, um, Brew, it's the La Colombe 
um, draft latte in vanilla. I didn't get the oat milk one and I already have ice from my um, rip frenemies, but from my drink earlier. I love this brand of coffee because they're so frothy. That's literally like using my Nespresso, but like cold brew and cold, I don't know, anyway. So I put that in there and then I also got a little um, cold organic little overpriced so overpriced it hurt but i really been wanting to try this brand it's by drought um and it's the organic cold pressed juice i just got one to try out and it's organic apple organic lemon and organic ginger so we'll see um but we've been trying to get into like juices and green juices and stuff because we just don't get enough vegetables and like fruits in so i feel like for me especially i'm like a drink gal beverage girl um i like to have like a bunch of drinks all throughout the day and it's just like easier for me while i'm working and doing stuff to like drink um i've just been trying out different kinds like whether they're like freshly pressed my sister is into them and she said that fresh pressed juices are a lot better than the store-bought thing and so we did that a couple times um from like juice places around us but there are not a lot so i wanted to try this because there is a drought i believe there's a drought in michigan um i want to say it's near birmingham it seems like a birmingham thing and so anyway let's see okay this one is a lot a lot better than the other ones I've had okay yum that is a yes it was literally nine dollars so now I'm going to head to the pet store Made it out of the pet store. I got two bags full. I feel like I'll just show you. I got like little cat foods because you know what? I did order on Chewy and then I realized I ordered a little too late. So I just picked up enough for um, today and tomorrow. We have their hard food and everything, but then Felix loves this. It's like this stew stuff by From. Um, it's turkey, vegetables, and rice or whatever. And he loves that over top of his food. And um, I got this because Dottie really has been liking the one we have for her. Um, and I wanted to get her her own because, you know, I also got a goat milk. Oh, I got him a bully stick because, again, he loves bully sticks. I got a few things just to help calm Dottie, hopefully. Um, because whenever we, like, start transitioning her and she's, like, kind of been a little bit more scared. Um, and I heard that these really help our vet actually recommended the feel I way like their little diffusers that you plug in that release like pheromones that make the cats happier or calmer or something and so I picked up a few more like things like that um, this first one is a calming spray and I guess you spray it like around the room we're not gonna try these all at once we're gonna try them like one by one and if something works then stay like that so but I just got a few to just like have options with um, and I also got this calming pheromone collar which my vet also recommended one of these um, and it's not like too bad she's just like growling i think because she's like scared you know um she doesn't know who these things are and like felix is so big and like scary looking even though he's like a doof like he's not gonna do anything obviously but change your plans i am actually running into home goods there's a home goods marshall's right here and i'm like you know what why not just check it out you're in the area i've been wanting to go to one i haven't gone in so long here let me disconnect this bring you in and see if you can find anything do all of the like consecutive holidays stress anyone else out? These are cute though. The little gnomes. I love that. Wait, no, this one is cute. Oh yeah, that's so cute. I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day though. Cute. Have to peek over here, of course. I love these Ugg sheets. They're like a baby blue and white stripe. I just found this mirror. 
$2.50. Oops. Look how beautiful. It's like full length. It's really nice wood with a detail up there. Mm hmm. Guys, look at these scarves right here. They're like the plaid ones I've been wearing. Clearance for $10. And so I had to show you them really quickly. They have other colors as well, like the red one. But I really like this purple and green one. I don't need another scarf, but like I said, only $10. I only got a handful of things, so I'll just show you now. I figure it's kind of just easier to do it in the car. Okay, so first off, I got this cutting board. I just like these wood cutting boards from here. It was only $10 because it was on clearance. You can see that. I think I only have one other cutting board, and then I got this. Lazy Susan, I think this is such a good find. Like it's this really beautiful marble. Um, if you can see that, I think it's gorgeous. And then this wood bottom, um, it was only $20, $20. Can you even believe it? Um, Mia on the dinner table or something. I don't know, I just really liked it. I'll figure out um, something or the dinner table, the dining table. Um, then I got this big old knife for $6. Um, I need a new knife set. If you guys have any knife set recommendations, please let me know. Um, Dura Living, but I don't really care to be honest as long as it cuts my food. By Real Techniques, it's the Miracle powder sponge oh, i didn't know it was for powder oops but it's like one of those fluffy ones so we'll see if i can use it for wet stuff this thing for four dollars it's a hanging store um accessory organizer and it comes with all these little things hanging on your closet rod um and i think i'm going to like try to stick my scarves through it or something i don't know i'm gonna see i guess i could have all solved these things oh i see about to start snowing i need to get gas still um because i'm about to run out i did more shopping today than i've done in a very long time in person um because i you know sometimes you just want to go out and shop around just like look at things and um so yeah it's that time of the day lights are all on it's snowing outside just got home um i need to put all this stuff away so um i'll show you a few of the things we got um Matter. I got a big loaf of sourdough bread. It's like freshly baked and I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to bake a loaf. I really love sourdough bread. Like that's the only bread that I want to eat an avocado, not avocado sandwich, only toast I want to eat avocado toast on. So I got a big one of that. Um, and honestly, Whole Foods bread selection other than their fresh section um, is lacking. And anyway, got some pita chips. These are the best pita chips. They're the plain white Oasis food pita chips. So I got a little bin of that because they're so good. An heirloom tomato to, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> and then I got some peppers, avocados. I've had this brand before and I love it. I love sauerkraut. Um, and I got these like meatless um, sausages to go with them. I've never tried this brand. It's Jack and Annie's normally. I just get like um, normal like Polish kielbasa or whatever and I love eating that with these that's what I kind of got all of these for to make like a meal like that um, and then I got some of these collagen peptides to try because I've been really wanting to I've heard really amazing things for like your skin hair and nails and stuff and my nails specifically I feel like could really use some more collagen or something like that I didn't know that Whole Foods um, sold local milk and so I got one of these I like that it's in a glass jar as well like that just makes me happy, I don't know. Nancy's Probiotic Cottage Cheese. And I've never tried it before, but I was like, probiotic in a cottage cheese, that's awesome. Um, and then I got this goat milk yogurt. I've never tried it before. Um, I really just am trying to find good yogurts. Also got this feta dip by Cedars. Um, it looked really good, I've never had it before. I also got the sweetened um, sweet cream nut pods. Kroger only sells the unsweetened ones, and I like the sweetened ones. Um, and then I got some whipped cream. And then just some fruit. I've never tried these golden berries. It says they're tangy, tropical, and sweet. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put this all away. And um, then I'm going to cook, I believe. Um, Jared's finishing up work right now. And yeah. Okay, friends, I just okay, I just washed all of my vegetables. I'm about to make a leek soup or like leek potato, like get just a vegetable soup basically, but I wanted to try out leeks because if you watch Emily in Paris, they were really talking about them. And then after that, I kept seeing them at Kroger and I was like, 
they looked so good. Honestly, even before that, I was watching Maddie Bragg and she cooks a lot on her channel and um, she uses leeks a lot and I was like, they just look really good. They look like something like, that's the kind of vegetable I like. Um, so I'm going to try out a little recipe that I found on Pinterest. Um, just because I feel like soup is a good, I don't know, I like making it in the winter. Um, and so I have my little apron on to protect me. And then we're gonna start. Here's the um, thing I'm going off of. It's wholesomecook.com and it's from Pinterest. I'll link it down below, but it's, I'm kind of just like taking away the mushrooms in here and adding like celery and onion. I'm just kind of doing my own thing, but following this, if that makes sense. Um, it's pretty simple, you know? On her own path to stardom, Jamie Lynn Spears, a teen queen of Nickelodeon. Good morning it is now the next day and i'm in my office right now with daddy and i actually don't think i've showed you guys on her this is my sweet sweet girl she just came up on the couch with me um and i'm about to feed her and give her her medicine and um i thought i would say hi to you guys in the morning because um i accidentally i don't know how much footage i got yesterday so i'm going to see if um i should vlog today and add it into this i also have a couple packages that were just delivered and i would love to open them up with you. So I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. So, Minnie, you have food. While she's eating, I have a package from Abercrombie and Fit. I think that these are my jeans. I ordered me a pair of jeans, I ordered Jared a pair, and then I also ordered a pair of trousers. Because I've heard so many good things. I've just wanted, to, I'm so sick of having jeans that I hate. Everyone has said that the Curb Love line is like the way to go. So I'm trying them. Okay, okay. Did I really get a. S oh. No. The, wait, these are Jared's. These are definitely Jared's. I was going to say, I'm not a 3230. Um, that was. <laughs> Um, like I said, they're the 90s straight from the men's section. I just think they looked really nice. And I think he's always looking for, like, a good pair of jeans. They feel like vintage denim, to be honest. Like, very high quality. Um, not stiff. Because I think they're a little bit, no. They're not, they're not stretchy, but they're not too stiff. If you know what I mean. So he'll be excited about those. Also, got a package from Nespresso. Which I'm super, super excited about because... I've been out of, I've only been using like my my double espressos or espresso caps from um, my advent calendar that we didn't get through during the holidays. So I ordered a bunch. Oh, this is my only one. Okay, good. So I just stocked up on all of our favorites um, because I'm going to go charge my camera. Let's do your eardrops first, daddy. Eardrops with me? Come here. One, two, three, four, five. Good girl. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> you are such a good girl. <laughs> so good. Here you go, girlfriend. Oh, yes, so cute. Look it. Here's your food. My office is a mess. Um, we got this couch yesterday. Well, it's like a futon. <laughs> it's just like a very inexpensive futon from Amazon because um, I didn't have anywhere to sit in here. And I wanted to be able to like lay down and like spend time with her in here so that she like, you know what I mean? And not on the floor because it was so uncomfortable. So we picked this up and I've also just been wanting one in here in general. And again, it's a futon so it can turn into a bed. And I think it's quite cute actually for, I, I want to say it was 180, which I was looking at things that were a lot more than that. Even on Facebook Marketplace, I could not find something. Um, and I think it's cute. Like I said, it's like this faux leather. Um, it's white has wood legs perfect for in here for right now oh my god look at it it's literally your last dose daddy only have like half of one left okay. 
I'm gonna go get her. Give her this one. Okay, you guys, I just finished this yoga full body stretch um for tension and sore muscles by yoga with bird and i wanted to say and give her a shout out if you guys are looking for like a very good yoga teacher or good um youtube yoga thing i highly recommend yoga with bird i just love her vibe she's really sweet and she's really easy and gentle because i would definitely consider myself a newbie with yoga i've been doing it on and off for years but i'm finally like trying to commit to it um and i really like her so far and um so i just did that felix was very confused normally i do everything up in our um spare room upstairs it's already not bright out and in that room it doesn't get a lot of sunlight so i wanted a little bit more sunlight or like brightness um but anyway so i did that and felix was literally crawling under me the whole time you're not used to seeing that he was like what are you doing and then i was like in a certain pose and then cash comes meowing in the front of my head and it's just like they're literally all doing that and then i'm like trying like if you're trying to meditate and you hear like a certain tick or something in the background like the clock ticking or something and it like distracts you that was him with his breathing i'm sitting there like um you know trying to get in the mode trying to get in the feels the yoga mode and he's there like <laughs> in my ear aren't you Yes, it was very confusing. Very. We were all so confused. Um, <clears throat> just waiting for Mr. Felix to digest his food. Um, ate probably like 20 minutes ago, but I like to wait like 45 to an hour um, to take him on his walk um, because he's a big barrel chested boy. So he has to digest his food. Maybe to the park, do something, um, get him outside. Beard normally comes with us, but today he's busy, which I kind of get excited for because then I can listen to a podcast and like music and get into my zone. So that's what I'll probably do be doing. Does this look right now? Um, Felix and I are about to go on our walk like I mentioned to you guys this is my outfit um i wouldn't say this outfit is the cutest but i do have these cute little earmuffs on taylor swift this line says this born born former a plus list singer turned a minus list he must know that this a plus list singer has security cam footage of him using drugs and also oh, feeding with sure. his ex-girlfriends he wouldn't want that to get me okay i am we just left. We went on our walk. I look disheveled for sure. Um, I didn't get to buckle Felix into his. Um, oh god, I'm sorry. They're doing sewer work. Hold on. Buckle Felix in because I got scared because there was some weirdo walking, <laughs> weird guy walking around um, the uh, park and very close to my car and like while we were getting in um, and like getting out and stuff. So I just chucked him in and we were going. So. Um, that was a good walk. I was listening to my current favorite podcast, which is Fluently Forward. I feel like I mentioned it to you guys. Um, maybe I didn't, but um, Shannon is the host, and she has a TikTok also called Fluently Forward. And if you guys like celebrity drama and um, just celebrity gossip, not drama, like find items on celebrities and she kind of just like talks about a, like alleged things that are happening have happened in the past and she like focuses on people right now i'm listening to the justin weaver and selena gomez one um and Haley bieber but um very interesting i like just like things that don't involve like they have nothing to do with me <laughs> like literally um it's not self-help it's nothing like to better myself it's just to like feed my imagination we'll say that um so anyway we're on our way home now and um i'm going to finish up some work my snack right now i just threw stuff on a plate 